We know that Jedi Master Yoda isolated himself on the swamp planet Dagobah after the Clone Wars and lived there until he died, but what else lived on this mysterious planet? Let's take a look at some of the creatures, aliens and monsters that lived on Dagobah with Yoda. Bogwings were a winged reptilian species native to the planet Naboo. During Gilliball games played by Gungans, Bogwings were released into the sky to signal half time. Bogwings were known to be able to carry nine times over their weight, they were also very territorial. Morph was a carnivorous amphibian species native to the planet Dagobah. Related to the Narpara, these creatures would paralyze their prey with venomous bites, which could cause paralysis in a human in a matter of hours. They were known to rely on their small size and agility to avoid detection. They were also swamp-bound creatures, often found hiding in wormholes. Jubba beds were a species of bird that was found on the planet Dagobah. They had purple and brown colored skin with a yellow beak, two wings, a lengthy tail and a pair of spiny legs. Known for their soothing songs, they lived in the planet Swamplands, where they used mud scooped from dragon snake bog to make heavy nests that weighed down the trees they were built in. The Sleen were a species of insect-eating lizard native to the planet Dagobah. They lived in holes in the ground and hollowed out logs. The Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker encountered a Sleen in the Cave of Evil while he trained on Dagobah. The Scrange was the apex predator of Dagobah, attacking its prey with great ferocity. Scranges were beaked and had many patches across their body, arranged in a ridge along its spine. When prey got close, attracted by the lights, the Scrange would lift out of the mud on its six hind legs to make a quick attack or it would use its four-tailed tusks to impale its prey. Scranges somehow found their way to several whales. During the Clone Wars, a Scrange attacked Jedi Master Shakti and her crew of Quinlan Vos, Lysha, Rike, Sagaro Orton, and a clone trooper. The Predator was able to kill Rike, but was killed by Shakti when she pierced its head with a lightsaber. The Dragon Snake was a large predatory creature that dwelled in the muddy waters of certain planets, including Dagobah and Nalhotta. During the Clone Wars, the Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi ran into a Dragon Snake while searching for Zero the Hutt on Nalhotta. Years later, Luke Skywalker crash landed on Dagobah, where R2-D2 was swallowed and spat out by a hungry Dragon Snake. The Smooker was a spade-headed rodent native to Dagobah. It had a prehensile tail and ulnar skin flaps that stiffened when leaping, allowing it to glide. A Smooker's diet included berries, nuts, bog wing and jubber bird nestings, and their eggs. The creature would chisel holes in trees with its teeth for nesting purposes, having up to five young per litter. Their teeth were extremely durable and could cut through metal armor and cage bars. All right guys, they were just some of the creatures and aliens that lived on the planet Dagobah. From what it sounds like, Dagobah was not the safest place to live with, you know, with it being inhabited with all these creatures that had their own kind of really cool abilities, that flew, lived in the mud, could kill humans easily. I think my favorite from this list was the Smooker, but what was yours? Comment down below what you think about these creatures that lived on Dagobah, and what was your favorite from this list? Thank you to Wikipedia for all the information you used in this video. Ask what your friends think by giving this video a share, drop a like if you enjoyed that, extremely helps me out, and subscribe to me for more Star Wars videos. Thanks for watching guys, see you soon.